Hey everyone, this is Dr. Venkatesh Karthikeyan, MD Community and Family Medicine from Ames Patna. Currently, I am working as Senior Resident in the Department of Community and Family Medicine, Ames Patna. So, I thought of making this video uh, to document my preparation for PG examinations, that is final MD exams uh, in, the, uh, in the branch of Community and Family Medicine. I thought this is a must-to-do activity as it will be uh, of some sort of help to those preparing for final year exams of uh, community medicine. So this is a Google Sheet which I have made uh, and I have tried to create a master sheet where I have identified the topics which are important for exams and the sources to read those topics from. So this attempt will help you uh, to know what all to study, where you have already studied, what you have not studied, uh, what is your level of progress, where you need to focus. So it will give you an overall idea and it is a very, very uh, useful tool uh, which I have built over uh, two to three years of time span and I thought uh, this should be useful for uh, all of you. So uh, let me explain what the sheet is. Before that, uh, the sheet I have given uh, the download link in the uh, description. You can just fill the Google form and at the end of the Google form you will be having uh, the Google sheet link to this. So you can either use online or you can just download this Google Sheet into an Excel Sheet and modify it accordingly uh, so that you can make it more personalized. Okay. So first let me explain. See, well, this is the call. Dif there are different columns. So first column is for paper one. So actually, as you know, there are four papers in the final exams. So column one is dedicated for paper one. Column two is for paper two. Three column C is for paper three. Column four is for uh, paper four. And then on practicals day one, what will happen? On practical day two, what will happen? And uh, so this is the main, these six columns are the main. Apart from that, some additional columns, that is for materials, and then pro forma, pro forma where I can access from. Questions, previous questions, which I have not marked, which was difficult for me to find. And then the institute from which these questions were asked. What are the pending works? And uh, what are the doubts I have? All these things. So these are broadly this is the broadly the structure of these master sheet okay so let me go in detail and explain this okay so if you could see now you could see paper one so in paper one of uh, community medicine uh, the topics are conceptual and applied understanding of public health epidemiology including health research epidemiology of communicable non-communicable and emerging re-emerging diseases by statistics, environment and health. So this is the paper one syllabus of Ames Patna. Again, this might change from institute to institute. So just have a check with uh, your institute and uh, frame this accordingly. So first initially, first few rows. Uh, similarly for paper one, paper two, paper three, paper four, I have uh, mentioned the topics. Okay. Now, each of these topics I have created as a separate row again and have given four or five blank rows. This means that this conceptual understanding of public health, uh, this topic where all I can read from. So in IAPS and second edition page 624, I can read this from. In part, I can read this from. Similarly, for each of the uh, topics where I can read from. For example, if you take biostatistics, where should I read from? I can read from Indranil Saha book. I can I have made the slides of our uh, a workshop, our department workshop taken by Pragyana and Samshat sir, so that I can uh, refer. And then our faculty all looks notes and question papers from Golden Notes. And then uh, like that, you can uh, try to, what to say, map map your resources, map your educational resources for each topic. Okay. And while covering, you can try to cover one topic at a time and all the resources under the topic you need to cover. Okay, so like that for biostats we have environment and health we have. Okay, and for paper two again I have listed the topics uh, and for each topic where are the sources? For example, national health program it's given very very nicely in IAPSM and then DK Tanija and then SWOT analysis how to do NFHS five data I should read and then I have a YouTube playlist and uh, in that playlist I have mentioned I have mapped those videos which are useful. Again the reason for me to prefer Google Sheets rather than Word or uh, Excel is that it allows hyperlinking also. So uh, here I have linked the Google Docs in which I have the list of YouTube videos which are related to national health programs. So like that, uh, this kind of linking is, for, uh, I mean, providing hyperlink is possible when uh, we are using uh, Google Sheets. So that is a great advantage. So that uh, the 
so that this uh, sheet does not becomes too clumsy so uh, whichever is uh, ne wherever needed we are going to make it into a separate document and we are going to provide the link to that here okay similarly if you could see if you could see paper 3 uh, these are the topics these are my sources like IAPSM book and then maxi that's funded though i didn't refer to it much but there are i had the idea to refer to it so i just uh, made a note here and then for scientific communication medical writing the sources i referred IAPSM minerals are par and with page number you might think why i am doing at this level of granularity like mentioning page numbers that is because during the day before exam imagine it's very difficult for me to remember everything where it is given or search for pages okay so that's why since if uh, for example tomorrow is my paper 3 exam i'll just choose the topic and uh, for social and behavioral science i'll just cover iapsm this uh, 206 to 10 58 to 68 iapsm 211 to 218 part 13 to 15 to 52 like that a very targeted a way i can uh, uh, do my revision and preparation so that i can avoid time uh, wasting and distractions in the name of searching for where that particular document uh, topic is given in the book. okay similarly for health management i pay some book plus i have my own notes so which i have again mapped it to my drive and in my drive i have folders and then sate book in golden notes the specific page numbers all those things so like that for each of these i have and again for family medicine cmc materials i referred again which i mapped it to my drive so by this way it uh, looks this master sheet is more comprehensive so that uh, you can easily keep a track of everything you don't miss out of sources that's what the common mistake i did during a bbs is that the day before exam i don't know what to read where to read how much to read so though i have read everything once before uh, once or twice before but the day before exam it's a very tense situation where we tend to forget and then for pa paper four again the topics and the sources from where i can read these topics from okay so this is the first part of the first part of the uh, master sheet which has uh, four papers and each topics and for each topics where to study from next part is practicals so oski we had uh, we had oski public health exercise field by short case long case pedagogy in day one epidemiology by stats thesis and grand by thesis by one grand by one day two okay so again the similar way for case taking where all i can read from for public health exercise where all i can read from oski where all i can read from everything i have uh, documented again um, if you could see the interesting things like aim study performa uh, is there it's available in my telegram group also and then my previous book for example i studied in uh, og practical books written by dr rajama indran sir so it's a, a small book it's an excellent book i gave it a read uh before my final exams pg exams also so that uh yeah it will help it helped me to uh, read for obs uh, revising obstetric examination work okay and then field viva for example uh, whenever we go to field and practicals are conducted or practical classes are conducted we used to take note of questions and we used to compile it so my junior has helped me to compile it and uh, i have tried to answer it then and there also so uh, so these are the sources which i should refer the day before exam for the first day of practicals so uh, i'm uh, so this master sheet was very helpful for me to remember about what all things to cover you might be wondering what is this green and red color thing is that okay uh, actually the whole sheet was colored in a different way before making all this video and then i just removed all the colors to avoid making it clumsy uh, green means i have already covered this so i have prepared already for public health exercise red means um, i should do this next so i am going to read golden notes next uh, blue, green means i have already completed like that you can have your own color coding so that it will help you to uh, give a visual representation of what has been done and what is to be done and also depending on level of importance you can uh, experiment with different colors okay and then even i have uh, uh, for pedagogy jipmer printout i used i mean jipmer uh, had a, a pedagogy book uh, which i used and then i prepared my own checklist in google slides uh imme just immediately before presenting my pedagogy session what are the things i should keep in mind for example uh, i should enter the class and then i should make sure that the whiteboard or blackboard is clean i should not cross the projector i should say that am i audible i should ask the audience am i audible and visible 
to the last row so these tiny kind of minor things i uh, made a note of it so that just i'm uh, this is this information is fresh in my mind and i'm going to apply it before my pedagogy session so i'll share this checklist also uh, in due course of time again for viva what to read for example in field viva we have uh, a list of questions which are favorite for the examiners we may not know who are the externals but of course we know who are the internals so we need to uh, compile the favorite questions of your both internal examiners so that you can prepare accordingly and also thesis also you would have uh, spent hundreds of hours in writing thesis but on the day before exam it might not be possible to revise everything and it is not possible to remember everything in your thesis so you should make notes for your thesis so that uh, of important things which you tend to forget uh, so that uh, it will be easy for you to revise before thesis okay, uh, before thesis viva so these are the uh, uh, different uh, sources which i used and also apart from uh, categorizing sources uh, i have uh, listed all the sources together in one place uh, uh, so this was an earlier attempt then uh, once i listed everything down i just tried to uh, fit it and in uh, topic wise so this one and then performance what are the performance i have refer referred from where i have referred and then i also made an attempt to mark questions previous year questions of other INIs like Jipmer, AIMS, Delhi and all and some questions i were not able to find answer immediately it's not ready to uh, i mean like a ready-made answer was not available in the book so I, I was marking it down separately so that i can tailor make an answer accordingly and then i had a pending i had a list of pending works like I should be referring my department slides which was presented by others and then field by one questions I should be uh, referring other college questions and then uh, these are the different pending works which are related to uh, related to my academics so and then again I color coded this red red means that should be done immediately next okay uh, and then this uh, black means which I have already done so like that uh, different tasks pending works i have documented here doubts which i have i have listed down here so this is the this is the next part of uh, uh, next part of this master sheet where i have mentioned what are the materials uh, and what are the performers what are the questions which i have not uh, doing answers for what are the pending works which i should do everything now a very important part of the preparation uh, just before exams that is material to read for this particular paper so topic wise i have seen where to read what to read but overall if i'm going to read the day before examination uh, i may not be po it may not be possible to read for topic wise so uh, this is the, these are the 10 things 11 things which i should cover so first is iap sum book so what are the topics relevant for, for paper one i will read it in iap sum book then i will move to my google docs note uh, where i have answered for questions which are not in book and then slides, and then Leon Goddess, Internal Saha, annexures which is a folder in my drive where I have a collection of some study materials and then uh, biostats, by, uh, and then slides for biostats I need to see, answers template, like I have framed an answers template so which is few pages, having an uh, idea of which will help you to answer any question even if you don't know much about it for example if there is a question asking you to comment about this health program or critically analyze this health program then there is who health system strengthening framework uh, and you can fit that framework and using that uh, what is a backbone you can answer any question any you can com comment on any national program for that matter, matter. so like that many uh, useful things which should be uh, which will help me to frame a backbone or in other words it, these are the subheadings under which i should write answer for any questions so that is the answer template i have a word document uh, prepared for that so that i should revise so maybe i will be sharing you that answer template also in due course of time and then uh, recent updates i had have taken the help of my junior and uh, she had very beautifully compiled all the recent updates in a ppt and uh, that i need to revise and then department slides i should see so these are the 11 different things which i should do before the day of exam revise before the day of exam and why it's all green because during the last uh, because before the exam i have revised all these things so it wasn't green so before that it was either in red or it was non colored now it is in green okay so similarly for paper 2 materials to read paper 3 materials to read paper 4 materials to read and then for uh, practicals also the materials to read 
day one what are the materials day two what are the materials okay and just few tips before exam like one week before exam what i should do these are the activities which i was uh, planning to do before one week before examination one day before examination what will i should do 20th notebook like you might be aware of 20th notebook concept which is a list of important questions or important key points which you tend to forget and you need to revise the day before exam so a uh, day for exam you need to revise the 20th notebook and then first page of all textbooks because uh, i used to make a note of important things in the first page of in any textbook so that i need to go and then i should cover each page uh, and i may maximum spend one minute for a page but i should at least vis visually see e each page so that at least the things i have highlighted uh, is seen by me and it helps me uh, to write the exam with the help of my visual memory and then answer template i should see and few key things which i do which i should do on the day of examination i should be uh, i was i was which i should be careful of like uh, the exam is between 10 to 1 and uh, i should be spending only two and a half minutes 2.25 minutes i mean like 2 minutes 15 seconds for each mark because my uh, 80 mark question paper needs to be answered within one 80 minutes which means uh, uh, each mark deserves only 2 minutes 15 seconds and nothing more so which means that uh, i can allot 36 minutes for a 16 mark question and my target is to finish within 30 minutes if i'm not able to finish between 30 to 36 minutes then i will leave two three pages blank and i will definitely move on to the next question and i'll come back if there is scope of uh, writing or adding to it uh, it is very very crucial to attend every single question yeah, because like how much ever excellently you are going to write maybe you might get only 60 to 80% of mark for each question whereas if you are not going to attend any question then you are going to get zero for that question so it's always better to attend every question maybe the level of uh, detailing might be different but we should definitely attend each question so and then uh, one week before practicals what i should do one day before practicals what i should do all this i have documented so this is a superficial uh, what is it not superficial this is a comprehensive list of uh, what all to be studied where all, what are materials to be referred where all you should refer how much you have completed what is pending what you should cover immediately all these things uh, have, we have to uh, map in a single place and preferably in google sheet since the scaling option linking to other sources everything is possible with google sheets so uh, i wish you all the very best for your upcoming exams and your preparation if you have any doubts uh, please do let me know please download the sheet the link of which is given below and all the other things which i have spoke about like answers template recent updates i'll try to uh, add it uh, in the upcoming videos and uh, so that it's useful for everyone Thank you so much everyone all the very best